In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to insert an Aweber form into the sidebar of your WordPress blog. And we're going to use a widget in order to accomplish that. First thing to do is, of course, to log into your Aweber account and get the contact form and everything set up and the autoresponders that are going to go with it etc. And you'll be given two options when it comes to the code that you can use to add the opt-in box onto your website. You can use either JavaScript or you can use the HTML code. Of the two, I would say the JavaScript is probably to be recommended over the HTML code. But whichever one you decide to use, the process that I'm going to show you here is pretty much the same. Okay, once you've got that set up, come to your WordPress blog and come to the widget page. And we're going to use a text widget for this. And I'm going to install it in the right sidebar above the calendar. So I'm going to scroll down to where it says text, it's arbitrary text or HTML. I'm going to drag that up into the widget pane here into the sidebar and I'll put it into the right sidebar at the top here. This pops open. I'm going to give this a title. I'm going to call this free report. And the first example I'm going to use is JavaScript and I've copied the JavaScript snippet onto my computer's clipboard so I just need to paste it in with control and V and you can see, if I scroll over a bit, there is the JavaScript. So now I just need to save it. There we go, it's saved. So now I'm going to just view the blog. I'm going to open this in a new tab. And now you can see, there we go, there is the opt-in box right there in the right sidebar. Let me just go back to the widgets page. Now let's say, for example, I wanted to use the HTML code. Again, the procedure is the same. Let's just get rid of that. And I've got the HTML code copy to my clipboard so I'll just paste that in control and V and I've done this one slightly different so you can see the difference so I'm just going to save it and there it is saved so go to the blog and refresh it and there we go you can see there's the box put in there with the HTML code very simple to do indeed there are other widgets that you can get to incorporate an Aweber form into your blog, but I like this method because it's by far the simplest and the least complicated way.